East Carolina 34, UCF 13. You look at this, and, I mean, <laughs> John Reese Plumley, three interceptions in this game. He was 25 out of 37 passing, 296 yards. UCF could not get anything going on the ground against East Carolina. And Gus is almost always due up for one of these, right? Like, it, you're going to get one of these crazy games. Holt Naylor's, by the way, 30 out of 36 passing, 311 yards, one touchdown. Uh, he did have one touchdown on the ground as well. Mitchell, the running back, 16 carries, 105 yards, averaged 6.6 yards per carry. Uh, Bowser, for UCF, had 5.7 yards per attempt. Like, he was awesome running the football. But uh, they they really, overall, could not get anything going. Plumley ran 14 times for 38 yards, so they, they had a spy on him basically all day. Like, this was shocking to me. Uh, you look at the drive charts. There were only three drives that East Carolina did not score on <laughs> in this ball game. Early in this game, I mean, it was over from the word go. It felt like uh, interception on the first drive, fumble on the second drive, turnover on downs on the third drive, and at that point, I mean, you're down. And how do you come back when you're a rushing offense and you've got to count on this guy that's not great at throwing the football, right? So they did kick a field goal uh, before the end of the half, and then they come out, they score a touchdown immediately. They make it a pretty tight ball game, and then... East Carolina just did what they do. I mean, this was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing to look at. Uh, East Carolina, like what Mike Houston is building there is awesome. This is a fun team. This is a, a good team. And Holton Aylers, every now and then, will show up and look like a fantastic quarterback. And he certainly did that here. Um, this was this was fun. I mean, absolutely fun. So, I cheers to him uh, because I... I enjoyed that one. Uh, this is, I mean, nothing against UCF. I mean, my gosh, like, I, I, I keep thinking that this team's going to be great. But, ugh. Uh, all the power ratings, all this. UCF fans coming out talking about this team like they are the next coming. Uh, it didn't turn out to be that. Did not turn out to be that at all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.